Hello, I have a Siemens RDJ10 RF slash RCR10 slash 433 and a Valiant Ecotech Pro 24 boiler. I have trouble getting the heating working. There is hot water coming out from the taps but the heaters are not heating up. I checked around and have a S.30 error on the boiler. Although the RCR10-433 has a green light indicating a connection with the controller. Please if anyone can help me out it would be great. Hi I am Rick, UK plumber, and I specialize on boiler problems. S30 means no demand is being made for heating, so your wireless controller is not sending a demand signal to the boiler. Follow the user instructions re-resetting the controller but many times these units just fail to communicate, Rick. Hello Rick, I noticed when resetting the controller the low batter sign is on, would this be the problem? However when I try to send a heat needed command, turning up the temperature in the controller, the receiver has a yellow, relay light, on. After resetting the device it still isn't turning the boiler on. Still has the S.30 error on the boiler. Yes you need to replace the batteries, although the display may be correct the low battery means the transmitting power is low so the receiver is not getting the correct signal, Rick. Just another note, I tried resetting the boiler, press the fire with a cross on it for one second, the boiler makes a noise and then switches off. Is this supposed to happen? I check the codes on it it shows S.97 then jumps to S.30. Hello Rick, after changing the batteries the boiler is still not firing up. The receiver notices the command and relay light turns on but the boiler doesn't do anything and stays at a S.30 error. Please advise. Thanks. S codes are not fault codes but system status messages. Entirely normal, Rick. Just read the boiler manual. S.30, no heating demand from external controls, clamp 3 to 4 open, not sure what clamp 3 to 4 open means. Do you have any idea? Thanks. Wireless units are inherently unreliable, S30 is the boiler telling you it is not getting a call for heating, then the wireless John can get a wired stat or programmable wired stat, the only way if you want reliability, Rick. I would rather try to solve this problem as it was working previously. Since the controller and the receiver is working, would it be the receiver not communicating to the boiler? Is there a fix to this? The receiver is simply a relay that links two wires together that fires the boiler if the lights say it is working but the boiler does not fire then the relay is not operating. You can test this by linking terminals 3 and 4 on the boiler input strip if the boiler fires then it proves the boiler is okay. This is what the receiver does, Rick. Hello Rick, would you happen to know where I can find the terminals 3 and 4 on the boiler? Is it possible to dismantle the receiver and see if the wires are loose or something? Yes they are at the bottom of the boiler just follow the main incoming cable and you will see it. I would not have wireless stuff if you gave it to me. It is so totally unreliable, Rick. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.